Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be another classic um, horror movie slash Halloween movie reviews for you guys. Um, and this movie I was definitely looking forward to. I wasn't actually planning on watching this one this year, but I decided to because uh, my friend, uh, Kane the Planet, a kid of awesome, told me to watch it. So I decided to, and I'm very happy I did. This is a movie that is known as one. Of, it is known as one of the most controversial horror movies of all time. It is a one of the. It was the very first found footage movie of all time, and it has one of the biggest what the fuck endings of all time. And that movie is the 1999 found footage horror movie classic, The Blair Witch Project. Now, The Blair Witch Project was a movie that I always was really looking forward to. Because here's the thing, I hate. And I'm not sugarcoating things here, guys. I hate found footage movies. I am not a fan of them. Because 99% of the time nowadays, when you have a found footage movie, like, say, Paranormal Activity or Devil's Do or, you know, all that kind of shit type of movie that Zach came out, all those kind of movies, they are not good most of the time. They are terrible. Terrible. The only good one I could think of in recent years was either, like, I'd say, like, Paranormal Activity was good. The first one, maybe the second one, then the third one, those were good. But, like, the marked ones, the fourth one, awful. Devil Inside, you got, like, Devil's Due. That stuff is just awful. Awful stuff. However, The Blair Witch Project was kind of the one that started it all. And, um, it was a movie that really a lot of people thought was real. And I'm going to explain why. When this movie was made, um... There were no opening credits. There were no, you know, title sequence. All it said was a quote, and it's something that, um, you know, you see everywhere when you see this movie. It says, in October of 1994, three student filmmakers disappeared into the woods near Burkittsville, Maryland, while shooting a documentary. A year later, their footage was found. That's basically, you know, what's going on in the Blair Witch Project. That's pretty much what it's about. But I finally watched Blair Witch Project, and overall, what do I think of this movie? Blair Witch Project is a fantastic movie. I really liked it. I won't say it's a masterpiece because it's a found footage movie. I don't really think of found footage movies as masterpieces, but it does. It is a very good movie. I really enjoyed it. I was very surprised with how much I enjoyed it considering it's a found footage movie, but it's a movie that I thought was definitely very well done, and I highly recommend you guys check it out as well. So let's talk a little about the movie. So as I said, that's basically the plot of the movie. Basically, the plot is that Heather Donahue um, is this girl who she has brought these two guys along, Michael and Josh, to produce a documentary about this fable of the Blair Witch. You know, no, there's this, like, sort of, like, suspicion about the Blair Witch. There's this guy named uh, Rustin Parr, was a hermit who kidnapped seven children in the 1940s and brought them to his house in the woods where he tortured and murdered them. And basically brought the children into his house's basement in pairs. And basically they want to sort of investigate about her, find out what's going on there. And pretty much what ends up happening is they're investigating about her, and eventually shit goes down, and that's basically what the movie's about. Now, there's not much else to say about the Blair Witch Project, however, however there actually is a lot to say, because I'm going to analyze the ending, which we'll get to. But let's first talk about the acting in this movie. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a found footage movie. How can you talk about the acting? It's found footage. Well, here's the thing. People thought this movie was real. Again, they thought it was real because of how good the acting was. This is by far the best acting in a found footage movie I've ever seen. I think the acting is amazing. And we're going to talk about it right now. Heather Donahue plays our main lead, Heather, who, um, she was fantastic. I thought she was great. I loved her in the movie. She has this really great classic, you know, monologue scene, um, which I will talk about. It's towards the end of the movie. She did a great job with it. I thought she was definitely amazing in the movie. Just amazing, amazing job from her. Joshua Leonard, I thought was great. Um, a big thing with this character, which I don't want to spoil, but he definitely did a great job. And then Michael C. Williams plays Mike. He was also really good in the movie. Not much to say about the acting, but all the acting across the board was very, very realistic. That's the other thing about this movie. It is very realistic. Very realistic to the point where it could seem real. Because 95% of this movie, actually, no, not 95, 85% of this movie is them joking around with each other. The first half of this movie is not is a comedy, pretty much. 
they're joking around with each other. They are making fun of each other. You know, the guys are teasing Heather that they're on this quest. They're teasing each other. Oh, they're going to get scared. Like, there's a lot of that in there. But, these, you know, if this were to happen, that's what would happen, is they would make fun of each other. That's just a common thing that people would do, is they make fun of each other and... That's what they do. So that doesn't really surprise me at all. And I thought that was very well done because, again, that's what would happen. Plus, the reason the movie is not that scary is because it's preparing you for what the movie is going to eventually end up being, um, which I definitely really enjoyed. And I like that the movie was sort of, like, very slow-paced. This movie's a lot like um, Halloween in that they don't show blood. They don't show any of that. They don't show the killings. They don't show any of that. That's sort of what all found footage movies does, but this movie started the tradition of that. You know, like in Paranormal Activity, there are a bunch of, like, jump scares. This movie does not have a single jump scare. Not a single jump scares. Um, yeah, so not a single jump scare, and, um, definitely, I think that is fantastic. Now, I personally think jump scares can be, can be good if they're handled in the right way. If it's handled the right way where you don't expect it to scare you, then that works. But jump scares most times come across as very cheap and not so, you know, not very well at all. And, um, yeah, so and this movie doesn't have a single jump scare, which is very good. And the movie definitely was very popular with critics. I mean, when it first came out, it got over $248 million worldwide. Like, that is a shit ton of money. That is so surprising how much money that it came out towards, and, like, that is fantastic for this movie. All the critics were very positive about it. They loved how good the movie was. The directing to this movie is absolutely fantastic. I love in found footage movies how they try to make you think it's real. Now, a lot of times in found footage movies, you can just tell it's not real. This, though, you could see, you know, you can tell that it is, it seems like you can tell that it's real. You know, it seems like it could be. And I really like that about this movie is that, you know, Again, with a lot of movies, it does not seem like it's real. But, sorry, I'm getting messages on Skype. Um, but with a movie like this, it seems like it could be real, definitely. Um, so, I definitely really enjoyed that about the movie. And that's not something you see a lot of day days, not a lot of um, times nowadays. The cinematography is amazing. Very darkly lit cinematography. The camera is fantastic. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, the camera was shaky cam. It's a found footage movie. What do you expect? It's supposed to be shaky cam. I'm not a fan of shaky cam. I think the shaky cam was fine in this movie because it's shaky cam because it is supposed to be a, a handheld camera. They wanted this to be as realistic as it was, and it they did it perfectly, in my opinion. The editing, also fantastic. This movie is really short. It goes by really fast, and you're not in, you know, you are not in for, you know, you don't think it's going to be as, as bad as it is, but really it is, um... I wouldn't say the movie's brutal, but, like, it's brutal in the sense of you know what's happening. It's all left to the imagination, which I definitely really like. I like when they do that in horror movies. But a lot of the times, it's left to the imagination of what happened, and I definitely really like that. So, let's get to the spoilers for The Blair Witch Project. If you guys have not seen The Blair Witch Project, do not watch the rest of this review. This movie did sponsor a sequel, which we're not going to talk about because it's one of the worst horror sequels of all time. So, we're going to talk about that, and uh, let's just get to um, the spoilers. So, of course, you know, Josh disappears, and when Josh disappeared, that is when the movie just got amazing. Of course, you know, we find out that, um, that basically uh, Mike kicked the map into the water, so they lost the map, basically. And, you know, from here on out, it's, it's Heather and Mike trying to find Josh, and there, of course, is that big scene where Heather's apologizing to the producers of her project, and... She's breaking down, she's crying, she's hyperventilating and understanding something terrible is hunting her. It's just so sad to see. And then, of course, now we're going to get into the analysis part of this um, spoiler. So, basically, Heather and Josh, you know, they're walking to these stairs. They think they hear, uh, not Heather and Josh, Heather and Mike, they're looking for Josh. They think they hear Josh screaming. They go to these stairs. Heather sees Mike, um, like, around this corn, like, um his back to this corner looking like, you know, like, in despair or something. Like, maybe he is just, like, standing there or something for whatever reason. And the camera, Heather drops the camera, but the camera keeps rolling, and that's the thing. Heather drops the camera, but she doesn't stop recording. The camera keeps rolling. So, basically, what ends up happening at the end of the movie is then it just goes to silence, and then it ends. 
Now, a lot of people think that the reason this happened was because the witch took the camera. The witch didn't want people to know her story, so she took the camera. And it makes sense why she didn't want people to know her story. You know, she didn't want people to know she's a serial killer. She didn't want to get in trouble or arrested or something like that. So, basically, the witch took the camera. That actually does make sense if you think about it. But in my opinion... I don't think it's just that the witch took the camera. I think the witch actually, um, with my, I think with Mike, the witch um, put put Mike into that corner and was basically like to him, stay here while I go and try to, you know, turn this camera off so she could, like, destroy the camera. Um, but she didn't get to destroy the camera. The camera, you know, she doesn't, maybe she didn't know, like, how to work the camera or something. I don't know. Um, so, you know, maybe she did that, and then maybe she went back in and then tortured the both of them. And I feel Heather screaming was because she saw Mike murdered. I feel that's what happened. Um, yeah, so um, definitely I think that's why Heather screams at the end is because she sees Mike murdered by the witch. And that's basically what happens. And it honestly is a genius ending. That This movie has one of the biggest what-the-fuck endings of all time. But if you really think about it, it's not as you know, WTF as you think it is, because the thing with the movie is that it's all left to the imagination, and when you think about how terrifying it is, it really makes the movie a lot more terrifying than it ends up being. The movie itself, as I said, is not that terrifying. The movie isn't even terrifying at all, in my opinion. I don't find it that's, I don't find it scary, personally. It is scary, but it's not scary in the sense of, oh my god, scariest movie ever. No, it's scary in the sense that it's left to the imagination, and when you think about what's happening, it's scary. And the movie is more disturbing than it is scary. This movie is definitely one of the most disturbing, uncomfortable movies I've seen in my life. It's very very uncomfortable to watch. There are a lot of very uncomfortable moments, a lot of scenes that are very just like definitely very uncomfortable. And especially because of how lighthearted the first act is, you are not prepared for the second half of this movie, which I definitely really enjoyed. But overall, I love The Blair Witch Project. I think it is a fantastic found footage movie. It is probably the best found footage movie I have ever seen, and nothing really will compare to it. Really, it won't. I mean, Every found footage movie, oh, one more thing, guys. Every found mov footage movie ends with a what the fuck moment, but this one does it in a way where it's very clever. You know, like Paranormal Activity, it just ends with, like, someone going up to the camera and turning the camera off. That's where the Blair Witch Project thing started. However, in Paranormal Activity, you can clearly see what's happening. Blair Witch Project, they don't tell you anything that's happening, and I think it's, it's just, it's so much well done because you can think about it and it gets you thinking, and... That's really when a movie is really good. When a movie is a movie is really good when it gets you thinking and you're kind of like, what just happened? And then you kind of process in your head. That's kind of what they want us to do. And I think they did that in a tremendous way. And I definitely really loved it about this movie. But let me know what you guys think of The Blair Witch Project. Um, I personally think it's a masterpiece. I love it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, which will either be for another classic horror movie review, because I think I want to do one more today. Or for my review of, which I can't wait for, the season premiere of The Walking Dead. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.